Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on digital image processing. I am Dr. Alpesh Dafda and in this 33rd video class of DIP, we will study pseudo color image processing and its implementation in MATLAB. Starting with the name, what is the meaning of pseudo color? Pseudo color means false color or fake color. That means image that is originally grayscale image and we will be giving some false color values to different intensity values of this grayscale image so that the analysis of the image is better as compared to the grayscale image. So let us start. Starting with the slide that we saw for 31st video class of DIP namely color fundamentals. Here we saw that there are two types of color image processing, full color image processing and pseudo color image processing. Full color image processing is one where the image is acquired using full color sensors and processing is done. Whereas pseudo color image processing is one where the image is acquired using monochrome sensors and is grayscale image and we assign or give some false color values to different range of monochrome intensities so that the analysis of the image is better. Why? Because humans can discriminate thousands of different color shades as compared to only two three dozens of grayscale shades. This is the slide that we saw in the very first video class of DIP namely what is DIP. Here we studied that there are four different types of digital images grayscale image, color image, binary or black and white image and index image. This index image is a pseudo color image. Here the idea is to map each of the gray level of a black and white image into an assigned color. This pseudo color image when displayed can make the identification of certain features easier for the observer. The mappings are computationally simple and fast. The pseudo color image processing consists of assigning colors to gray values based on some specific criterion and it is different than the process associated with color images where an abstract mathematical model known as color space is used to characterize the colors and for different types of applications a number of different color spaces exist as we learned in the previous video class. The principal use of pseudo color is for human visualization and interpretation of grayscale events in an image or sequence of images. The pseudo color image processing can further be categorized into two categories. Number one intensity slicing and number two intensity to color transformations. For intensity slicing we slice different intensity levels and assign different colors to each level. While for intensity to color transformation or gray level to color transformation the approach is to perform three independent transformations on the gray level of any input pixel. First is intensity slicing. The technique of intensity slicing and color coding is one of the simplest method of pseudo color image processing. If the image is interpreted as a 3D function, the method can be viewed as one of the placing planes parallel to the coordinate plane of the image. Each plane then slices off the function in the area of intersection. Any pixel whose gray level is above the plane will be coded with one color and any pixel below the plane will be coded with the other color. Levels that lie on the plane itself may be arbitrarily assigned one of the two colors. The result is a two color image whose relative appearance can be controlled by moving the slicing plane up and down the gray level axis. For this figure two colors C1 and C2 are assigned. C1 below the slicing plane and C2 above the slicing plane. While here four colors are assigned, the gray level to color assignments are made according to the relation f of xy is equal to ck if f of xy belongs to vk. Here ck is the color associated with the kth intensity interval. The more the slicing planes, the more the colors. This figure is the monochrome image of the radiation test pattern of picker thyroid phantom and this is the result of density slicing into eight color regions and we can observe that different problem areas can now be easily visible in this image. Similarly this image is an x-ray image of weld with cracks. Here the bright white spots are the cracks in the welding. The x-ray will be able to pass through the cracks and will appear as bright spots in the x-ray image. So these spots will be having the pixel value of 255. Now if we assign a yellow color 
to pixels with value 255 and a blue color to all other pixels then the cracks are easily spotted as compared to direct diagnosis by human eyes. Now this image is a grayscale image of world average monthly rainfall. If these are the color assigned to different intensity values then this will be the color coded image. This color image gives more information than the grayscale image. For example if we zoom the South American region then we can easily find the areas with very heavy rainfall greater than 20 inches shown with orange color. This is the example of multi intensity slicing. Now let us understand intensity to color transformations or gray level to color transformations. This transformation is capable of achieving a wider range of pseudo color enhancement results than simple intensity slicing. Here the approach is to perform three independent transformations on the gray level of any input pixel. If we have a single plane grayscale image, we convert the image into three different planes, red, green and blue. The three results are then fed separately into red, green and blue channels of a color television monitor. This method produces a composite pseudo color image whose color content is modulated by the nature of transformation functions of positions. The piecewise linear functions of the gray level are used to generate colors. This method can be used to smooth nonlinear function which as a right be expected gives the technique considerable flexibility. For example, this figure shows X-ray images of two luggages of an airport scanning system. This left image shows ordinary articles in the luggage while the image on the right contains the same articles as well as one plastic explosive. These are the transformation functions used for pseudo coloring. Changing the face and frequency of each sinusoid can emphasize the colors produced. For example, if the frequency and face of all the sinusoids are same, then the output image will be a grayscale image. A small change in face between different colors produce change in output pseudo colors. For this above transformation functions, you can see that the intensity level of the explosive and the background is quite different in the grayscale image, but they both were coded with approximately the same color. Why? Because the periodicity of the sine waves is similar. This is similar to this, this is similar to this and this is similar to this. Due to this, the explosive is easily visible in the output image. For this below transformation functions, the periodicity of the explosive and the garment bag are similar. And hence, these both are coded with same blue color. This is similar to this, this is similar to this and this is similar to this. So both the garment bag and the explosive are coded with the same blue color and the explosive is not visible. This mapping allows an observer to see through the explosive. This figure shows a pseudo color coding approach used when several monochrome images are available rather than a single monochrome image. For this multi-spectral image processing, the additional processes can be techniques such as color balancing, combining images and selecting the three images for display based on knowledge about response characteristics of the sensors used to generate images. For example, the first three images here are in the visible red, green and blue plane images and the fourth one is in the invisible infrared band. This photograph is of Washington DC with river flowing. Figure 5 which is a full color image is obtained by combining red, green and blue plane images. And in this color image we can identify different areas, river, greenery but it doesn't give much details. And now this last image is formed by replacing the red image by infrared image. We know that this infrared band is strongly responsive to the biomass components of the image. So this final figure shows quite clearly the difference between biomass in red and human made features like buildings in blue. Hence this pseudo color coding can give very interesting and useful results. This figure shows the pseudo color rendition of Jupiter moon IO by combining several sensor images. Here bright red color depicts material newly ejected from an active volcano on IO and the nearby yellow materials are older sulfur deposits. So this image conveys this characteristics more easily then it would have been possible by analyzing the component images individually. Let us implement the pseudo color multi-level intensity slicing in MATLAB. This program does a multi-level intensity slicing of a grayscale image and assigns different colors to it. Here we are reading an image devanan.png and storing in DA. You can even use 
the cameraman image by doing slight modifications in the program. As my image is a color image, I'll be first converting it to grayscale image by using RGB to gray. Next, I am finding the size of the grayscale image and storing the number of rows and columns. Here the size is 256 cross 256. Now I am running the for loops for different rows and columns that is different pixels and assigning different red, green and blue values to grayscale values. For 0 to 90 grayscale values, I have kept the red, green and blue values as 0 that is black. Similarly, for different grayscale values, I have assigned values of different red, green and blue colors. So I have assigned only three different colors other than black that is 0 and white that is 255. Finally, RGB image is formed by cat or concatenate operator to stack the images. Here 3 is the dimension of the stacking and so red, green and blue planes are stacked above one another to form a 3 plane RGB image. Finally, I am plotting the original color image, the grayscale image and the pseudo colored image side by side for comparison. Let us run the program and see the output. So you can see that the original color image is in full colors. The corresponding grayscale image is like this and the pseudo colored or false colored image which we have formed is like this. You can see here that other than black and white, I have used only three different colors for pseudo coloring. One color is this color which is like chocolate color. Other color is uh, this color which is like peach color and third color is this color which is like cream color. The other colors are black and white and this pseudo colored image also gives good details and is visually attractive to see as compared to the grayscale image. So that is all for this video class. I hope you would have gained a good knowledge from this video lecture. Thank you very much.